Okay, welcome to uh, the final installment, maybe, of uh, Will It Crush. Today it's kind of the grand finale, the Phoenix T1 flashlight, and we are going to see how many pounds it takes to crush. Uh, there are batteries loaded in it, so be careful about that. And, uh, there we go. So please don't try this at home because these are uh, lithium batteries. We don't know quite how they're going to react. You may notice a wire hanging over here. That's not supplying power to it. The ends are just hanging here. That's attached to the clip on the back. So if it catches on fire, we can lift it away quickly and dunk it in a sink of water or something like that. And uh, we know from the last test, we have safety glasses and this time a fire extinguisher. So, I'm getting ready to go here. It'll just take a second for the machine to warm up. Sorry if you can't hear me. this off in 2,500 pound increments. It's made contact. Ooh, that's fast. So that's a 7,500 already. A little bit of crunching. I wouldn't look at the end of our unit. position it so it crushes a little bit more on the head. But as you can see here, the uh, tail cap is flattened a little bit, but it's still on. Still goes into turbo mode there. That's the emergency wire on the clip there. So I'm just going to put it back in. I'm going to reposition it so more of the head gets crushed than the rest of the body. So I'm going to reposition it right there like that. Try to get a little bit of that stainless steel bezel being crushed. 7,500.
we're going to unload it. That went up to about 21,000 pounds. I don't feel anything warm. Here, you can see the uh, aluminum reflector is pretty trashed. The bezel's bent. You can still see the emitter down there. I don't know what's going on. Glass is all gone. Can't turn it anymore, so it appears to be good to about 21,000 pounds. I'm going to take this apart, and if I can get it working again, I'll put it back on the machine for you all. And uh, until next time, uh, this was Will It Crush?